got home from work. So it's completely dark because it's October and yeah, it's dark. It's uh, 6.30 or something at night and I was thinking that I would uh, grab one of my whips, one of my works in progress and uh, just knit a round or two on that and talk a little bit about what I want to do with this channel, video and everything, I don't know. Um, yeah, hello, uh, this is this is one of my projects, um, living in this bag. Uh, it's a bag by a company called Mood. Mood. Um, it's a Danish company, Danish brand. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not here to talk about them, not right now anyway. I always feel like this, <laughs> this bit... This bit looks like a troll face or something. Like with the eyes, like the beady little eyes. The nose, the button nose. The, I don't know, the mouth. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should name him. It's kind of cute. The dangly eyes. Right. Eee. So, in the mood bag, I have a project. And, uh, yeah, I've been working on this for, well, it's been hibernating for quite some time now, but I started it a few months ago, well, this summer, and it's, uh, it's a top, it's called Shorty, it's by Danish designer Enne Wenzel, looks like something like this. I know the lighting's. I know the lighting sucks. Sorry about that. Um, just the way it is right now. So it's uh, it's a fairly easy pattern. Um, I just got kind of bored after a while. Um, I just set it aside because yeah, I wanted to do something. A lot of other things. <laughs> uh, so that's that's what I thought that I would. Uh, I could kind of remedy that with uh, maybe with like a series of videos or whatever where I took out some of my hibernating works in progress and just worked on them for a while. I mean, if I work on something for like 10, 15, 30 minutes a day, then eventually they'll get finished, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And... Um, it's uh, supposed to be like it's a t-shirt style kind of top uh, with like half sleeves, shorter sleeves, um, but it's, um, no, wait a minute, I'll show you the yarn, yarn, the yarn, um, it's a mix of uh, the summery type fiber and an alpaca, and so the summer fiber is, the, all of the yarns are by Again, Danish, 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 Danish brand Isaya. Uh, so it's a one strand of Isaya Alpaca One, and that's what they say to use in the pattern. And then the other yarn is called Trio One. It's also by Isaya. Sorry, I don't have the ball band with me. Um, so and this, yeah, this was color. <coughs> Can't see. Here, yeah, there, there. Color number 23 for the alpaca. And the trio one, I use two strands of trio one because in the pattern it calls for one strand of trio two. But the trio two is just, uh, yeah, double the, double the size of, double the weight of the trio one. Uh, and I already had some of this in my stash, so I didn't have to, I only had to supplement had to buy a little more yarn and the alpaca to make this top uh, and also the color this color called that's called the khaki it uh, it doesn't exist in the trio 2 but in the trio 1 
and I really love this color. It's sort of like a brownish, greenish gray. Uh, it's a dark neutral and I really like that. So uh, yeah, the, the alpaca is a bit more, uh, yeah, sort of the same color. It's like a, I don't know, like a, like a, like a churned pepper corn color. I don't know. I really like it. Um, but it, it creates such a dense fabric. Uh, it's knit on a three millimeter needle. Um, which is a, I don't, I don't think three millimeter has an equivalent in US terms. So 2.5 is a three, right? No. Yeah. No. Wow. Okay. After a day of work, my brain doesn't work. Oh. Okay. Uh, so it's, yeah, creates this dense fabric and it's kind of slippery. Uh, there's a lot of stock in it with uh, simple lace panels all around. And it's just, I mean, it's not that enjoyable to knit on for me because I'm a very slow knitter and this just, it, it's even slower for me to work on this than um, <clears throat> than other projects. Wait a minute, I'll just, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm on a knit round. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's just, it's dense and it's just, yeah, I'm just done with it. And it's supposed to be a summer top, but it's dense and it's got a packer and I don't know. So I was thinking about just uh, elongating the sleeves, you know, knitting the sleeves longer because they knit top down anyway, so I can just make them as long as I want. Um, so I think I'm definitely going to, I think I'm definitely going to do that. That's such a weird thing to say. I think I'm definitely going to. Yeah, I'm quite quite certain that's what I'll end up doing, making longer sleeves. Um, but I don't know how long I want the body. Uh, I can I usually like kind of cropped things, but I don't know how cropped. I don't want it to be too cropped. Uh, I don't know. So uh, yeah. So maybe if I knit on it instead of just talking about it, then. <laughs> wouldn't be a problem anymore right um what else oh, I'm knitting a size three because I just thought that would fit me uh, nicely with the um, recommended uh, ease on the pattern yeah my weight kind of fluctuates so I don't know I think it'll look fine um, it was a very popular pattern this summer and uh, I've seen a lot of them finished both in real life and online and I think uh, look at my f I think they look really nice look at my finger how, how far out from the needle my, my uh, pinky here I don't usually knit with my finger this far away from the needle but I do Something about this, uh, the combination of this yarn and the needles and the tight gauge tension. Um, I don't know. It just makes sense for my finger to be out there. And it, I mean, look, doesn't it look silly? I don't know. Well, it doesn't really matter what it looks like, but it looks mighty uncomfortable. It, it, it isn't really. It's just, ugh. and it's really slow. And I don't know. I'm just, I just I'm just done with this. <laughs> well, I'm not sadly, but yeah. So I don't know. I, I just thought it would, it might be fun to, well, for me anyway, to uh, dig out some of my whips and chat for a bit and uh, yeah, get some stuff done and off the needles while I work on other big projects. I'm doing a spinning project at the moment. I'm really excited about it. I just started swatching for the garment I'm gonna be knitting. And uh, yeah, it looks good so far. I think it's gonna be great. So, um, 
also this yarn I have to stop every like I don't know every 15 cent if every time I've knit like this much like 15 centimeters or so I have to stop I have to rearrange the stitches I have to pull on the yarn to make it go out of the balls and, oh, I don't know it's just uh, yeah a lot of lot, a lot of things slowing me down so yeah the other thing that I thought might be fun uh, was just to film my hands while I knit or crochet or make make things because I, I always find it really interesting uh, to see how other people knit their style and you know how they hold the needles how they hold the yarn I don't really I don't tension the yarn with anything other than my uh, forefinger here uh, yeah I, I grab it like I grab it I don't I don't do any of these wrapping things uh, it, it just gets stuck for me when I do that <laughs> so don't do that um, maybe that's why I'm not well I think definitely that's I think I can, that there it is again I think definitely um, uh, it's a strong possibility strong probability that that's the reason that's the reason why I am not a tight knitter uh, because I tension the yarn like this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not a tight knitter and not a fast knitter. But a knitter. And I knit a lot and I crochet a lot. And I've just... Uh, I've, I've just recently begun spinning a lot. Um... I learned how to spin years and years ago and I have done it on and off, you know, done it on occasion. Uh, but lately I've just been bitten by the spinning bug. It's, um, yeah, it's been great. Great, great, great. Oh, I'm making progress. Almost. Yay. Half a round. Yay me. Um. don't know what else to say. Maybe I shouldn't say anything. Maybe I should... Uh, I don't know. I'll just pause it here and then maybe I'll come back with um, another work in progress or... Yeah, we'll see. Shorty by Anna Bitzel. I kind of love it, but I'm sick of the process of knitting it. <laughs> right. Oh. What's this? What's this? There's paper everywhere. Yeah, not going to show the pattern. Uh, body. It needs to measure for my size 59 centimeters from the top of the neck I wish she had written was it 59 I wish she had written how long it needed to be from the underarm but she doesn't she writes how long it needs to be from the neck and that was 59 where's 59 59 that's there 50-59 where are we oh that's that's way too long so right now it's 46 so I'm aiming to go for like 52 maybe 52 So, I was kind of, uh, see, <laughs> this is the one mistake I know I made in the lace pattern, right there, can you see it? 
but it's on the back. So that's the way I know this is the back. I'm actually gonna put... Am I gonna put a marker in that? No. No, I can check back on that later. Okay. I am going to knit. Knit, knit, knit. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna remove this. Whoop, just gonna put it right there. And then I'm just gonna knit for a bit. <laughs> this was supposed to be nice and relaxing to look at. Let me just look at me making mistakes and getting frustrated. Hello, I am back. And I am having some warm cranberry juice with some weird stuff in it. It's getting kind of late and um so I thought I would stop for today. So this is how far I got on my shorty tonight. Um, from my progress keeper here and to here, it's like one, two, three, four, four, five, five-ish rounds. Um, which I'm not mad about because if I hadn't decided to start this video, I would not have knit any tonight. So, on this particular thing, um, and furthermore, I uh, I think I'm going to take this uh, on the bus to into work tomorrow, uh, and to have to knit on in uh, on my uh, in my lunch break and um, and such, uh, because now that I. Uh, had it laid out and measured it and figured out uh, how much more I wanted to knit on the body. Now I can just keep knitting uh, while I'm out and about until I reach that. Tonight I got about a centimeter and a half knitted and I need to go to about five or something like that because then I also need to add the bottom ripping. Um, yeah, so, 
maybe I'll get the body done quite soon and uh, then onto the sleeves and then I really hope this neck ribbing will uh, lock into place because it wants to flip over it's really annoying it's both twisted knits and twisted pearls um, I did it exactly as the pattern said and it just flips like that yeah um, so that's it for tonight um, I think I'm just gonna pause the video and then uh, uh, film another bit tomorrow maybe it will be uh, on the progress of this whip or maybe I'll get another whip to show you and <laughs> we'll see what I can do about that um, but this was it for tonight. Good night and uh, see you later. Bye. Now that my uh, shorty has become my uh, like on the go project, um, I uh, I don't really want to show. I don't want to knit on it at night. I got in a few rows last night, and then I you saw the footage. I knit on it at work, and I knit on it on my way home from work. Uh, so 
that I've got a few centimeters done and that's I really I'm really happy about that I'm gonna do the same tomorrow I think so I thought I would uh, tackle another one of my whips this I started more recently it's on a much much bigger needle the other one is on a three millimeter this is on a nine I believe yeah it's on a nine millimeter and uh, it's this uh, mm, like fake brioche half brioche what is it fisherman's rib what is it it's like not brioche but almost so the front looks like sort of like brioche and the back looks more like uh, a rib a one by one rib stitch or something like that uh, I'm using Isaya yarn again <laughs> So this time it's the Isaya Eco Soft, uh, and it's an alpaca and cotton blend, I believe. Uh, yeah, 56% alpaca, 44% organic cotton. Um, I really like uh, like the colors. I know the lighting is not the best, but uh, I'm really new to this uh, video making thing, so you just have to bear with me. This color is called E4S. Uh, so what am I making with this lovely fluffy yarn that I'm holding double? I'm making a really really simple and free drops pattern. I don't know. Um, this I've been wanting to make for a long time. It's this really cute uh, like a hood with a, like a piece that comes down over your shoulders. I've seen some pictures online of, of, of fin people having finished this and uh, this piece that goes over the shoulder here, it just kind of sat around their neck because they said it wasn't stretchy enough. But I mean, it, it's knitted sideways, so you could just, I guess you could just knit it that longer. Um, I think I'm just gonna wing it. And uh, I finally started it uh, a couple of weeks ago or maybe, maybe three weeks, maybe a m month ago or something. Um, and then I, I, I did this, I did like 15 centimeters and I just put it down. I don't know why, I, because I started other things, but yeah, it just uh, got thrown to the side and that's, uh, and that's kind of sad because I really, really want this finished object. object. Uh, I just feel it would be really nice to you know sometimes if you have to to run and run some errands and stuff I just I just want to I want to I want to be able to to hide <laughs> while I go outside sometimes and uh, uh, so that's why I sometimes sometimes miss the era when we had to wear face masks because you could always just hide in public I really like that a bit about that um, so th I think this would, I mean, you could, you could like shield your face somewhat and, uh, and also it would be really cozy and soft. I don't think it has much warmth because even though it's a, a packer and it's fluffy and it's on big needles, it is quite holy and an airy type fabric. So, uh, yeah, but I really need to get cracking on this one. It can't really take that long. Uh... I think I'm doing the middle size, so like the large, extra large, because I really wanted it to be like a, a drapey hood kind of situation. Uh, maybe I should just knit a couple of rows, and then maybe I could uh, I could finish this sort of soon. So I just need to get back into the pattern, I think. I have to figure out where I am. I'm not there. Am I there? I'm there. Right. What do I do? What did I do on the last row? I did some. I did some yarn overs on the last row, and I think that we have an edge stitch here. So that's just a knit, right? Is that a knit? What am I doing? 
<clears throat> so, so since it's a free pattern I can show you and also my printout is in Danish so I don't know if you would understand that anyway but uh, yeah knit one but that was a selvage stitch so I'm gonna knit I'm gonna, gonna start the pattern here knit one pearl the yarn over together with the next stitch all right and knit one so that's that's the repeat <laughs> knit one Pearl two together, knit one, pearl two together. Yeah. So I know why I put this down. It's because it's boring. <laughs> it's just do these two stitches over and over and over again until it's long enough to drape around your head. Oh God. I'm sorry for the late night filming. It's just when I, when I'm at work, or when I, on the days where I have to work, I don't, uh, I don't really have any. Uh, uh, at this time of year, it's dark when I get home, right? So. Okay, this is really not interesting, is it? You can see. How I hold the yarn different differently than I do when I knit on the um I have to pull the yarn every time. Uh from when when I, when I knit on the uh um, <laughs> the shorty with the thin yarn and thin linen yarn and such, I had my finger all the way out here and did like this flicking thing. But with these big needles and the thick and fluffy yarn and the loose attention my fingers much closer to the um, to the needle but I still do the flicking <laughs> the flicking movement and when I purl I put my yarn in front I like <laughs> I use my right needle as well when I, I knit. I have I go in there, and, but I don't. I mean, both of my hands are moving actually. I don't just pick it, and I don't just flick it. I do sort of like, <laughs> like both. <laughs> so I don't think that my movements are that efficient. But I'm not really sure if I can change the way I knit or if I want to. <laughs> As I said before, I'm not I'm not a tight knitter, so I have that going for me. So I really my hands don't get sore from knitting, but I don't really knit for long stretches of time and maybe that's why I have so many works in progress at a, at a time. Um I have to look at my pattern. Uh, what to do so knit one for the edge pearl one slip one pearl with yarn over Whoop. Yeah. lots of purling but I don't really mind Sorry to say, but I don't think I'm gonna finish this in anytime soon. It's so, so boring. Um, I don't know. What am I doing? God. Yeah, the uh, Maid Marian cowl or hood or thing.
Well, I definitely have a cast on problem. I don't have a I don't I don't mind having different projects going at at, a, at one time, but I I have too many. I, I really have too many, as you will see from this video and maybe others. Um, I, I really wish that I could just, you know, figure out a project, start a project, finish a project. Not not just one, but maybe have two, two to four uh, simultaneous projects. Then focus on them and make them and finish them while I was still excited about them instead of uh, being excited about 20 things and then losing interest in 15 of them I uh, it's, it's not interesting to me it's not interesting for me to keep looking at the same projects for months on end and it's not going to be interesting on videos so my my plan with this is to dig out all of these whips and at the same time I'm I'm starting new things and making more interesting videos about those those I hope and uh, so this is just the beginning and because I've I'm I'm digging these out uh, there's a chance that I'm going to uh, the chance I'm going to finish them. I really, really hope so. And also because I really, I really want these things, uh, these finished objects. I really want them. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop for now. I only did like four rows or something. But uh, I have other things that I really want to do. I. Uh, I didn't plan on it, but I joined uh, this year's uh, 2023, the West Knits uh, MCAL. I only joined uh, after the whole controversy about the original Clue 1 uh, was going on. Uh, and uh, I thought, wait, I have the perfect square. Uh, to." I wanted to join in as a sort of, sort of, as a sign of support or whatever. And also I had uh, a square that I thought was perfect uh, and that I had used to teach myself how to do interlocking filet crochet. I'm going to show that at some point, but I don't think I'm going to be showing it until the MCAL is over. But I'm going to stop this and I'm going to go and knit on that project because I am not even halfway done Clue 3 and Clue 4 comes out tomorrow. So uh, yeah, I know I can't. I can't get clue three nearly done. <laughs> Maybe not even halfway done um, by tomorrow. But uh, I can put a dent in it, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna abandon this <laughs> poor hood again.
I think this will be the last whip I'm going to show in this video. And uh, as you saw, I've been working on my shorty for the last few days and it's going great. I think I'm almost at the point where I start the bottom ribbing and then I just need to pick up for the sleeves, knit the sleeves and block it and then that will be done. So I'm gonna keep working on that. But for now, I just wanted to show you this uh, next whip and it's one that I really would like to have finished within the next month because I have a, a theatre date with my brother in a month late in November and uh, when I started this project I sort of thought uh, I just had this vision in my mind you know that uh, I would wear this when we went to the theatre it is a, I don't know if you can see, no, you can't see a thing. I'll link all of these. You can look at them, the projects on my Ravelry page and you can see what the pattern and such. So this is a top down uh, yoke sweater jumper and it's, uh, it's a pattern by Danish designer, again, Danish designer called Lena Holmes Samsu. And the pattern is called Peacock. Uh, when you buy the pattern online, it's called Peacock Solo. It's available in multiple languages, including English. Um, the yarn I'm making it out of is a vegan yarn, mostly. Uh, most of it is this uh, vegan yarn. It's by Kremke. Is that a German brand, I think? Or something else? I'm not sure actually. Yeah, well, Kremke. Yeah, it says a lot of stuff in German there. So, uh, Kremke Soul Wool Morning Salutation is the name of the yarn. It's vegan. And this is the black colorway. It's just color number 20. And it's a mix of cotton and lyocell. But it's a it's an it's a nice yarn. It's of course a bit um, heavier than than say a wool or a wool blend. But it's it's really soft and it's really sleek. Um, and I think I know you can't see it because it's black. But I think it's a, I think it's a really nice yarn. And I really want to have more things um, more more things in my wardrobe that are not like really heavy chunky sweaters because uh i yeah it, it, it can just get it can be a bit much right so i need more like uh, vests and like all like stuff you can wear year round and not just in the coldest of the cold winter months um i started this Today is the 26th of October 2023. I started this back in July. <laughs> and um, uh, so the original is not done in this, uh, this these yarns. The, it, it's done in a, like a fingering wool uh, held together with a strand of silk mohair, which is lovely, but I've just done that so much these uh, past five, six, eight years, I don't know. Um, so I wanted to try something different. And then I got this um, sequence yarn. Oh, let me see. Oh, I have one here. <clears throat> this one. Sparkly. It's so lovely. It's a uh, Rico Design Creative Crazy Payettes. And uh, it's just a really, really thin. Um, thin strand of polyamide and polyester. With these lovely, lovely sequins on it. And I wanted to use that. So. The design has a standing uh, standing color, like a turtleneck, with this really, really beautiful scallop 
pattern uh, and it buttons in the on the back of the neck so it has a really large opening right now so I did the scallop edging just in the morning salutation yarn and then we go into another sort of scallopy pattern you can't see it I know but I did stripes with uh, where I put in a mohair and I don't have any of the mohair right here but it's a mohair by a company called Onion and it was in black as well and then we go down into the yoke section I have this uh, that's where I uh, added the, the sequins and whenever I did a row with the sequins I I held it together with a strand of, uh, of the mohair uh, and I didn't use the uh, um, like the base yarn the uh, the kremke so I used kremke then I did a stripe of sequins and mohair and then yeah I just uh, incorporated it into the pattern and then for the body and the sleeves I'm just going for with the straight up this the Kremke vegan yarn I have all of the yoke mm, 15 centimeters of the body one whole sleeve and 15 centimeters on the other sleeve done so I really don't um, have that far to go so I think I'm gonna pick this up really soon I just can't decide if I want to finish the sleeve or if I want to finish the body <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to finish the sleeve I just don't really care for knitting sleeves uh, top down because you have all of this heavy uh, fabric weighing everything down and you only knit a, a cup you know a half of your stitches then you have to turn the work and because I'm I'm doing magic loop um, yeah so it's it's and then I, I have to keep track of the uh, of the decreases and it's black and it's a little boring but I loved doing the yoke it was so much fun deciding where I wanted each yarn to go and how I wanted it to look and I, th I think it's uh, it's really f it's really it's really beautiful it's really fun uh, just a little bit of everyday sparkle um, yeah so I'm, I'm actually looking really forward to this I can't remember what size I'm making mm, medium or large maybe I'm not sure it's kind of a loose fit I don't remember but I'll write everything up and put it in the uh, in the section down below so you can uh, go and take a look at the uh, more details or even if you want to make it you could uh, buy the pattern so for once it's not a uh, yarn from Isaiah <laughs> but uh, but it is a Danish design yeah, so I don't have any needles in it right now. I have this one on this bendy cord thing and I have the body on just some uh, just some yarn, some cotton yarn. So I, I can't sit and knit right now. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, stop this and uh, figure out how to make an intro and how to put music on and how to edit stuff because it's been quite a while since I've done anything like it and uh, I'm really excited because uh, yeah I don't know I think it's fun and uh, I'm getting stuff done so that's good um, so that's it I think I think I'm gonna say goodbye here and uh, let's see where this thing takes us bye <laughs>